We have cross position here with Puzzle starting to the bottom left in the red color, starting for the Slayers team. And his opponent starting to the top right of the map. We have tying the series with the 1 1. We have Creator to the top right. There he is. And yeah, the last game was a little bit anticlimactic. Yeah, well, you know, you're a personal hater, man. Have you ever seen the, uh, the cartoon series Hey Arnold? Uh, yeah. I don't remember what the, the female character's name is. Is it just like Helga? I think so, yes. Uh, you know how she pretends to hate Arnold, but in reality she like really loves him? She has like a shrine of him in her room <laughs> no, and no, stuff? No, 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 no. I bet this guy is like that too, man. He has <laughs> Kaldor posters all over his wall. He's like really insecure though, and he's posting on the forum, he's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he speaks a second language fluently and commentates on it really well, but... I just don't like him for some reason. Maybe it's just his hairstyle or something. I can't quite get my head around it. But actually, he's in love with your hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really love it, dude. He, he dedicates so much time on these posts and just, just bitching the entire time. It's brilliant. I love it. At first, I was like, okay, well, hmm, this is really odd. And then I tra started to, uh, um, you know, just look at the names. and was like, this is basically one guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I feel like I've heard that ID somewhere, maybe he's tweeted at me before, but I don't know. Ah, uh, it might be. I don't know what his Twitter ID is, I just know his ID on the GOM forum. But you have to have your personal hater. Life is not complete if you don't have a personal if hater. You, if you have a personal hater, you know you hate it. <laughs> Kinda. It's like, wow, he's he's really like hating me so much, he just keeps, he's like trying to spread the hate, but... Ah, well, second gas going down, exact same build from Puzzle every game. Skips the Zealot, gets a faster second gas, doesn't get a second gateway. Creator gets the second gas a little bit later without skipping the Zealot, and then makes a second gateway. Every time. Yep. Creator now... <coughs> uh, let me... Uh, yeah, he's just scouting. At least the only... Oh no, we have a probe now out for, uh, for a puzzle as well. Both of them sending out a probe, trying to get some scouting information here. And on this map, what you can definitely do is play pretty safe. And uh, you have those two choke points. You have a single file ramp into your main base that you can just uh, force field. You can use the force fields here until you have uh, the Robo. The Robo is just very, very, a very passive and stable build. If you start with the Robo tech, you can defend your expansion most likely. You have to be a little bit careful as soon as blink timing hits if your opponent decides to go for a Twilight Council because there's always the option of blinking in, sniping one of the immortals, but as soon as you reach like, let's say, two to three, you're most likely safe against any, time of blink, uh, any kind of blink attacks. But I don't think that we are going to see this build by Puzzle again. Oh, there actually it is, the Twilight Council for Creator. Yep. And Creator actually is the one who is skipping the second gateway this time. Puzzle, on the other hand, has actually made both, so a little bit of role reversal. The order was a little bit different than how they've both kind of changed things up in the past, but yeah, the Twilight Council going down very quickly here. Now adding a second gateway. We saw it last time with just two gates with the Blink Stalkers and then into Robo, which is pretty common to see. It's also possible that with this he goes for Dark Shrine. I don't think that's going to be the case, but it is possible. He, and he, he does has a have a yeah. at the bottom at the bottom of the map. He may so hide a Dark Shrine there. He could actually hide a Dark Shrine. This is the map where Lua won against Inka when Inka was trying to use uh, the uh, DTs. Well, the thing for Puzzle right now is that it's the final game in a best of three, and he's made a Robo because he's like, well, I think this is definitely the safest build. It may not be the the one I can use my micro skills the best on. But just gambling, gambling. He's doing it though. He's not making blink, yeah. and there's the shrine. And why build the dark shrine action at this position? Well, it doesn't really matter if, he if you it make at the it in your main. That's... If your opponent does have an observer, he'll probably see it no matter what. But if yeah. you make it on the side, he might just see it with a scouting probe. So it's. It's, it's a gamble either yeah, way. Do you really think that there's going to be a probe at this position? That's the fifth base, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. It's, yeah, but anyway, this is rare. taking quite a risk, and yeah. the problem for Creator is that Puzzle already has the first observer out. Yeah, if he makes only one, though, he can still potentially lose, but he has so many sentries at the top of his ramp, and he already has the Stalkers not only on his ramp, but on hold position, so the DT can't run by. There are two there are two pylons powering the uh, um, the robotics, so even if he walks in there and tries to target down the pylons in order to empower the robotics, he will still be able to chrono boost one. And I don't know if this is going to work. This is taking a really huge risk by Creator. I did not expect him to, uh, to just gamble this one. If he gets two DTs into the main, which he will not, and then targets the Robo, he will kill the Robo, even if he Chrono Boosts and Observer, it, which will not come out. But he won't get two in, because the, the every unit is on hold position on that ramp. 
The probe can go through because it can mineral walk, but DTs can't do that. They may be invisible, but they can't walk through things. And the uh, the one thing that the creator will have going for him is he does have the Nexus up earlier, and here come the two DTs, but he's been seen already. Yeah. Sorry. And this is really bad now. At this point, he invested so much into the Dark Templar tech. Uh, the Dark Shrine alone, and he doesn't have anything at all, so this is really tricky. And, well, Creator tries to expand, but Puzzle knows exactly what's up, and he's bu already built his first Colossi. You know what's really cool is that Puzzle didn't send his Observer forward. He knew this was coming. How did he yeah. know? Let's think about this for a second. How? What types of other builders could we see? He didn't see any Stalker pressure whatsoever, which leads him to believe it's fast tech. There was no Blink Stalker, there were no Stalker presence on the map. And if he's like, well, there's no Stalker presence, it can't be Blink Stalker, because if it were Blink Stalker, he'd already be being aggressive. It can't be a fast Nexus, I already checked with my probe. It has to be DTs. He hold positions on the ramp, and he keeps the Observer at home. Great decision making, great reaction by Puzzle. It's not a coincidence, he was like, well, maybe it's DTs, so I'm going to keep this Observer back. He actually saw no Stalker pressure whatsoever, saw no Nexus. And any other four gate timings, any other timings that you might see in PvP, like a Phoenix, for example, he did not see that. Great reaction by Puzzle. And you also have to keep in mind that these players are preparing for one single match for an eternity, so they know up front who they are playing and they will analyze every single VOD and check what type of strategies they've used in the past. Very important here. And now the one base Colossus build, he's pushing out with everything he has, and yeah. he's already at 72 supply against 69, a small lead here, but an army supply. We have him with 15 additional army supply, 48 against 33. And he has a much better composition here as well. He's, he's doing damage before Creator can even prepare yeah. to engage. He does have charge, but there are so many sentries here, and the Zealot count is not even that different, so he can actually just block most of the, the Zealots with his own. A nice concave setup here for Creator. This is his only hope, but I don't think it's going to work. Good force fields blocking most of the Zealots. The Archons do charge through. Exactly, and now we have also the Guardian Shield at the same time warping additional units. Greater trying to hold on here and killed a lot of units. Yeah, actually. Puzzle actually under pressure, and I think he might pull this off. He's trying to kill the Colossi, but he can't really decide whether to target the Immortals or the Colossus. Yeah. Finally, the Immortal dies and the Colossus as well, and Creator. He kind of pulls this off at least for now, but the next round of warp ends for yeah, Puzzle will next, probably just... Yeah, the next yeah. round of warp ends makes it, it, it pretty... Well, you know, it's still a pretty uh, close battle, actually. Yeah, he still has an Archon. I, I feel like Puzzle hesitated a lot with his Colossus. A lot of people do this, where they have their whole units, whole group of units on one control group, and they, like, stutter set micro the Colossus, which isn't going to get hit anyways. It just stops it from doing damage. And I think Puzzle really messed up and did that. And Creator has a lot of better economy. He has two bases, he has a lot more probes, and he can just warp in. He has the better army at this point. Just look at the army supply. 28 to 21. Puzzle has nothing going for him at this point. Nothing. Nothing at all. But he does have... His units have more hit points, and he does have more stalkers. He's trying to utilize that right now, but I don't think it's going to work, man. No. I think Creator might actually just hold this. There are charge zealots. There is an Archon. GG, GG Puzzle. And look at Creator. He is really happy. And oh, man. At this point, we don't have the picture on the booth anymore. Well, to be honest, I think the problem was he did the Star Stuff Micro his Colossus. He only had one. But you have to have that Colossus doing damage constantly. I'm actually... I mean... I think the reason why Creator is happy is because he and I and you and most people at home know that he should not have held that. But his concave was good, and Puzzle hesitated. His Zealots were not all in front. His You never want to start up Micro, the Colossus, the biggest damage dealer and the most ranged unit in your army. Why would you start up Micro that with all of your army at once in one control group? It doesn't make sense. And another thing is that the Immortals did not really target the Stalkers. Yeah, he was too late with that. Yeah, he did not really focus the individual units with uh, his... Well, you need to use the Colossus in order to target the, uh, the Zealots, for example. Use the Immortals to target the, the Stalkers. It's a lot of micro that's involved there, but if you pull it off correctly, then you will do so much more damage. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to take a five-minute break, guys, before we get into Happy and Rion. During this break, I'm going to be checking out this replay because I still want to look at some more numbers on this stuff get back to you guys a little bit more information about that last battle but we'll see you guys in five